Yo guys, what is going on? JPS back for another video. And Happy Halloween, although it's not Halloween. I'm recording this on a Friday and it's gonna be uploaded on a Saturday, but I just wanted to make sure it goes out in time. Cause here we're celebrating Halloween the entire weekend, as it seems, because you know, people were giving mm, giving those out at my school today. <clears throat> Anyways, um yeah, so I thought, you know, in light of the Halloween, you know, Halloween spirit, blah, blah, blah. blah. Just kidding. I actually like Halloween. Uh, we're going to be reacting to how we celebrate Halloween in the UK and we being you. Um, comment down below if you celebrate Halloween. <laughs> I know not everyone celebrates it. Here, obviously, it's a huge part of, you know, the American culture is Halloween. It's a very big holiday. Everyone puts out candy at their front door and trick-or-treating. Obviously, I'm a little too old for that. But, um, you know, I'm at this age now where instead of going trick-or-treating, you go out for Halloween parties, which I'll get into more at the end of this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get right into this. Oh yeah, if you're new here, hit that like button hit subscribe. Oh, I don't know why I'm laughing. Recently, one of my viewers <coughs> asked, Anna, do you celebrate Halloween in the UK? And if so, how do you celebrate? So, let's explore that question, shall we? Halloween started as the festival of Samhain, which was part of an ancient Celtic religion. They mm. believed that on the 31st of October, the barriers between our world and the world of ghosts and monsters became very thin, meaning that they could pass through into our world and cause havoc. So what they did on the 31st was have a big party in order to scare those ghosts and ghouls away. The festival of Samhain was later called All Hallows <coughs> Eve by the Christians. Ooh. These days Halloween has become hugely commercialized. Initially it was celebrated more by our friends over in America who made a really, really big deal about Halloween. But over we here still in do. Britain, for many years, we didn't care that much for it. In fact, we were more interested in Bonfire Night, which is an event that happens on the 5th of November, which I will tell you about more in another video. Bonfire but Night. in recent years has also become highly commercialized over here in the UK as well, particularly for families who have children. So how do we celebrate? Halloween across the UK is now widely celebrated. Houses will be decorated with spooky ornaments, cobwebs, ghosts, and all. Hey, let me know what's outside. If you live in a house, what's outside your house right now? If you want to, you can send a picture to me on Instagram. Send me a direct message. My Instagram's in the description. It's at it's JPSYT. I'm trying to know what decorations you guys got out. Let me know. Will be decorated with spooky ornaments, cobwebs, <coughs> ghosts, and all sorts. Pumpkins will be carved with crazy faces to scare wow. away the <laughs> looks... and ghouls. Many pubs, nightclubs, and restaurants will have themed events, and many households will hold private parties. Lots of people getting involved will also then dress up as some spooky character or even just as something unusual like a banana or their yep. favorite Disney character. And then lots of children take to the streets with a bucket in one hand, knocking on doors, shouting, trick or treat, trick or treat. <laughs> and what they're looking for Bruh. is a handful of sweets thrown into their bucket. So by the end of the night, they have a bucket full of goodies. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. They're gonna get C Cadbury bars while we have to get Hershey's. It's not fair. Dang. To their bucket. So by the end of the night, they have a bucket full of goodies. This means that anyone who isn't celebrating Halloween has to stock up on lots of sweets and treats or turn off the lights and pretend they're not in whenever they hear the doorbell go. <laughs> Okay, that so was that's weird. how we celebrate Halloween in the UK. But the question is, do you celebrate Halloween? And if you do, how do you celebrate? Let me know in the comments section below. Now, before you leave, I have one request. Do you know English well enough to provide a translation? On all Man. 
No, I don't. I don't speak English. In all of my videos, I'm always looking for your language in the title, the description, and for the subtitles. So if you think you're good enough, then please, 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 please click on the link in the description box below and help me to provide. I got you, bro. I got you. Um, yo, what I was gonna say is like, it's crazy how different places celebrate like in similar ways. Like she was talking about the Celtics, how it was like <clears throat> getting away bad spirits and stuff. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so I was watching an idiot abroad um, literally two days ago and he traveled to Mexico. It was like episode four. Um, and they were celebrating El Dia de los Muertos. Is that on Halloween? I don't remember. But anyways, it's like where the Day of the Dead, where they basically, <clears throat> like death in Mexico is viewed as something good. Anyways, this is a weird thing I'm going on. But it's it's true, like every place has their own specific celebration. But when you look at them, kind of from a bird's eye view, everything looks the same. Like everything is the same. I mean, if you compare the Celtics from hundreds, hundreds of years ago to like modern day Mexican Halloween slash El Dia de los Muertos, I don't know if they're the same thing. They probably aren't. I probably sound dumb. But if you compare them, they're very similar and they're like two completely different cultures, regions, everything. So, whoa, that's loud. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry about the rain. It's raining so hard. And sorry about the background noises. As you guys know, Right now I'm recording this at 4.54 p.m. on a Friday. So college, you know, people are getting out. And that's what I wanna to transition to what I'm doing for Halloween. Obviously Halloween is on Sunday this year, which kinda of sucks, cause it's like on a school night, I guess. You know, everyone has work the next day. Kids have school, so they can't stay up too late. But Saturday night, I might have to go to a, I'm going to a Halloween party. So I don't know what I'm gonna uh, dress up as, comment down below what you think i should go as so i have i have a couple possible costume ideas number one i was thinking of going as a lifeguard the only problem with this is obviously with the lifeguard costume i can't wear a shirt and it, normally that's fine you know it's all right but it's freezing outside and it's raining i mean it might not be raining tomorrow but it's pretty cold so that's probably off the list the other idea i had was going as a nerd and for that i wouldn't even have to dress up uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, I'll catch you next time. <laughs> that was so bad. Uh, no, I was thinking of like wearing a button-up shirt and like big glasses and stuff, but I'm such an idiot, I didn't buy anything. So whatever I make or whatever I wear as my costume is gonna have to be homemade with stuff I already have and I don't have too many materials. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a uh, wonderful and safe halloween if you do end up going out to any pubs make sure you stay safe especially watch your drink watch your watch your legs too because apparently there's needles spiking all over the place uh watch that video if you haven't already but yeah be safe guys uh don't knock on too many strangers doors check your candy before you eat it make sure your kids if you have children make sure they check their candy before they eat it i've heard tons of stories of people poisoning candy and weapons being found and all types of crap so just be cautious be safe but most of all have fun hopefully you guys all have a great halloween and a great weekend uh, i just decided to do this little f thing video to be festive i don't know hopefully you enjoyed it but with that i'm gonna catch you in the next one peace